Good evening, Tom Bam. Going in English again um, today. Uh, 오늘은 또 영어로 할게요. Uh, so we're going to go in all English today. If my Korean subscribers they need to translate, uh, live translate, just let me know. 우리 한국인 구독자들이 그 live 해석 필요하면 uh, 저한테 uh, 알려주세요. So we're going to be looking at Solar Eco Fund. Now I I I've already told my subscribers I'm going to be looking at these Solana VCs and and taking a look at their portfolio performance. Now. Solar Eco Fund is very interesting uh, because it's different from the previous four VCs that I analyzed. Uh, in that, Solar Eco Fund is a Solana VC that specifically invests in the Solana ecosystem primarily. Uh, it's not a hundred percent. I looked at some of their port codes. They do invest in some, or they have invested in some BSC stuff uh, and some other things. But like the vast majority of their projects are actually Solana projects, right? So uh, this is actually quite unique uh, because of that. I have a special mess. I have a special uh, message for all Solana founders. Uh, I'm beginning to hear uh, uh, some interesting things about uh, this new uh, series, or I guess this uh, this. The type of things that I'm covering in Solana recently, uh, it's it's been bringing a lot of eyeballs, and I'm glad that I was the first one who got this whole thing started, right? Um, but I'm not going to stop. If you think I'm going, uh, if I'm going to stop or I'm just going to disappear, we're just getting started. I've told my subscriber this subscribers this many times, right? Now, again, Solar Eco Fund, it's primarily uh, Solana. Um, uh, native crypto uh, fund. They, like I said, they invest mostly in Solana projects. Now, if you thought that these VCs that deal, um, like the vast majority of their port codes are Solana uh, ecosystem projects uh, within Solana, if you thought that gave them some sort of edge over these other Solana VCs that invest in uh, projects on rival chains, for example. Um, they all invest in Bitcoin shit. They all invest in Ethereum and all this other random shit. They they invest in competing protocols within Solana, right? All these other VCs, they invest in a whole bunch of random shit. They've got a lot of interests. They have zero loyalties. Solar Eco Fund, they're, they primarily deal with Solana. What have they learned after investing in Solana? Clearly, they have no idea what they're doing whatsoever. You look at their record. These guys are terrible, terrible investors in Solana. It's just laughable. If you look at their track record, they have zero idea what they're doing. They have no idea what they're doing whatsoever. It's just hilarious, right? I got. I personally started investing in Solana last March. These guys like came around around kind of like around at the same time. If you look at their Twitter, you can see they um, they they made their Twitter in May, right? So they were probably you know looking into Solana a little bit before May. Uh, I got into Solana in, in last March, right? So they kind of ra came around in Solana around the, roughly around the same time that I did, right? And that's very interest interesting to see, right? How the paths have diverge right so starkly right it's just incredible like when i went to their portfolio uh page on their home page and i actually looked through their shit right now i'm going to begin with looking at this thing that came out on twitter today aver aver was a ignition hackathon project that i covered a long ass time ago i covered aver a long ass time ago on my on my channel it was it was a betting protocol um so they have big names like Jump Crypto, like apparently Jump Crypto is involved with uh, Aver. And I looked at them during the hackathon. So I've been aware of Aver uh, for quite a long time now, right? Um, if you go to my old hackathon videos, I looked at Aver um, like way back here, right? I think it was over here. Yeah, the Ignition Withers, right? I probably looked at him in, in this video over here, right? But anyways, if you didn't know anything about Aver, uh, they did come out with, with this announcement we are thrilled to announce our 7.5 million raise oh chuseongjin nim 안녕하세요 어 오늘은 재밌는 얘기 많이 할 거. i'm going to be telling you some very interesting things about uh solar eco fund 7.5 million raise led by jump crypto along with suskahana now suskahana is very interesting because suskahana is very closely tied to pith and jump right so jump 
Susquehanna and Pitt, they're all very close to each other because Susquehanna is one of the data providers for Pitt. Now, that's very interesting uh, if you haven't kept up uh, with that, right? Uh, things going over on at Pitt. Marana, GBV, GBV official. GBV invests heavily in Solana. Uh, I haven't looked closely at their portfolio, but these guys have been in Solana for such a long time. No doubt in my mind, eventually I'll be looking at GBV's performance as well. Serum's involved, MEXC is involved, right? Gate.io, Pet Rock Capital is involved. And then what do you see here? Solar, solar Eco Fund, Blue, Blue Pool Capital. None of my subscribers are part of any of these VC groups. We didn't get in during these seed rounds. We're not going to get a guaranteed 10x. So the people who watch this video, they're going to be exactly in the same shoes as I am. They're going to be approaching this from a retail perspective, right? My channel strictly deals with investing in Solana from a retail perspective, right? So I'm obviously not part of this group. Should I be suspicious? Of course I should be suspicious. Of course I'm not going to be one of these guys getting in early. So the risk is on. There's no risk for these guys. The risk for these guys is zero because they can just dump after the IEO. Obviously, you're going to see stuff like that 100% when they come out with their token. They'll, they'll announce their IDO. They'll have some kind of, you know, whatever tokenomics involved and, and they'll announce whatever, right? And this is just another VC project. Clearly, they went the VC route. So my advice to anyone investing in Solana, um, when you see this kind of stuff, like you see, you know, these kinds of announcements, Obviously, Yahoo is going to be advertising it. These founders, they're very interesting in Solana. These Solana founders, they claim that, like I've seen guys like Ruder from Solan, he claims that no one's going to build, like make any hype for them unless they announce these kinds of insane VC raises. So the VCs and their media connections, they raise up all this hype together. They got all these... Uh, weird sock puppet accounts that retweet and like this shit right they all do that shit and you go through their likes you can see obviously they're support their vcs they're all liking it too right i don't know half of these people right zoomer fund who the who the hell is zoomer fund right i don't know these guys obviously solar eco funds like this right you see all these uh related people who are connected to the rays right they all like this shit right who are these random ass like a sock puppet accounts? These are these are this is just fake like bullshit. They've paid for all these fake accounts. It's just very obvious. You see weird shit. Like if you don't know anything in Solana, anytime you see these kinds of likes, you just go through the likes, and it's clear like none of these accounts are legit accounts. Like the the amount of real engagement is very like low very small when you actually click on it and you look through this and you spend some time like going through this shit it's like all just it's all bullshit it's like 90 percent bullshit obviously pet rock capital probably is liking liking them because they're behind it right so you know you just got to keep a very critical eye when you when you look at this stuff especially if you're new to salon right i'm i'm gonna be helping people who have no idea how to invest in Solana how to invest successfully in Solana. That's why I wrote this little message down here. Imagine you're new. You have no idea what's going on really in Solana or how to invest in the ecosystem. And you just see this shit on Twitter and you're like, damn, they raised a lot of money. I'll just tell all my subscribers, these raises have nothing to do with the average investor. The average investor does not get into these seed rounds. It doesn't benefit you whatsoever. It has it has no relation to you whatsoever. Uh, aside from the fact that these are the people who will be dumping on you on IEO or IDO day. That's the only relation these kinds of announcements have to retail. And that's a fact. This is all just VC bullshit. That, that's how you should interpret this stuff. If you like the project personally, obviously you're going to be liking and retweeting this, right? Um, but for the vast majority of people, right, uh, we're not playing with millions of dollars and we're not seeding companies with millions and 500 and couple hundred thousand dollars at a time. So again, these guys' interests are completely the opposite 
of those of my subscribers. And that's a fact, right? Our interests are not aligned whatsoever, right? Because we're not the ones seeding these guys. So you got to start from that. Always start from that premise, right? It's just how you should start, right? These guys obviously did not go to the community to raise. They ran straight to the VCs. And, and this message here that I'm going to be talking about uh, directly, actually, directly talking to all Solana founders, I'm going to be asking them some very, I'm going to be talking to them directly and asking them some very interesting things, right? Because when you see these raises, it's like a little insight into the direction of the project. Like which direction are these projects going to go? When you see announcements like this, it's clear they're going the VC route. Right. For some whatever reason. Right. They're going the VC route. And and that's a little bit of information that you have. Right. Obviously, that you have to keep in mind as you invest. Right. You're already at a disadvantage here. That's how you should always interpret these kinds of things. Right. We're not getting into these seed rounds. And, and that's a fact. Right. Now, here's a very in another interesting thing. Right. You can see Solar Eco Fund here. Solar Eco Fund obviously was involved with this single worst IDO of all time in Solana, the MeanFi IDO, right? So again, if you're new to Solana, you have no idea how to invest in Solana. A really, you know, useful, you know, uh, thing that you should know how to do is you look at these announcements, you look at the VCs who are involved. If you see a bad VC, just stay away from the project, right? New Solana people have no idea that Solar Eco Fund was involved, is was one of the VCs that was involved with one of the worst ideas of all time, the MeanFi IDO, right? If you don't if you still don't know how MeanFi just was a complete disaster, you should look at my old videos. Watch my old videos. You can see what happened, right? Again, solar solar eco fund was involved. Right. And I've already looked at some of these other VCs in, in my other videos. Right. I looked at Defiance. I looked at A41. Right. But the, one of the reasons that I chose Solar Eco Fund is because I've seen them around and they're involved with a lot of these raises on Solana. And they're actually involved with, there's a lot of overlap with the projects that Solar Eco Fund has invested in with A41 and some of these other VCs that uh, are not very good investors, right? So when you see, when you notice these patterns, you know which VCs to avoid, it will help you as someone who's trying to make wise and sound investment decisions in Solana, right? Light, look at these bad VCs, these really low performing VCs, right? These VCs who have no idea what they're doing whatsoever, avoid the projects that they invest in. It's going to be a race to the bottom when these terrible VCs dump. One of the VCs sees another VC dumping. They all try to rush to the exit. It creates just this just spiral, right? It, it, it becomes a race to the bottom. The project is, it just is just becomes dead in the water it's not worth investing in when you start seeing shit like that right that's what always happens with these vcs right they see one vc dumping it they're like holy shit these guys were just in it you know uh for the for you know uh for the short term they're here just to make a quick buck i i better get out before the other vcs get out by the time you see that retail has no idea what happens because the vcs have all exited Right. So again, stay away from the projects when you see VCs with very bad track records, with very bad um, investment performance, portfolio performance. It, it's, it's just your money is very precious. You can't just go around investing in every Solana project. Right. Again, I've told my subscribers many times I'm the first Solana YouTuber. I've literally only endorsed one project in Solana. Right. So if you think, dude, your your name is Souls Got Soul. Aren't you just a Solana Schiller? I'm like the opposite of a Solana Schiller, right? I'm extremely picky with my endorsements, right? I've literally, again, I've only endorsed one project on Solana, right? These these assholes, they go around throwing money everywhere. They have zero loyalty. They have no idea what they're investing in. They're seeding, so they're guaranteed a 10x without knowing what the hell they're doing whatsoever. And these dumb founders, they're like, oh my God, we need to get this money. 
and then later they become slaves to the VCs. It's just, it's just, the, it's, it's the standard MO in Solana. You know, it, it's a little sad, right? I feel a little sorry for some of these founders, obviously, but that's just the way it is in Solana. That's that's the game, right? That's how the game is played in Solana, right? So you're probably curious, okay? So these guys who somehow got into this Aver round. And the same guys who were involved with the worst IDO of all time in Solana. So who who exactly are these guys? Who who exactly are these guys? Right. So just like my last video where I looked at A41 and RK Capital and uh, Maddie and Sino and all those guys, I did kind of do a little bit of digging. I saw the guy. This is like the main guy who's involved with Solar Eco Fund. Apparently, his name is Bill Sherman. Who's Bill Sherman? I have no idea who this guy is. None of my subscribers know who this guy is, but this is valuable information because no one else is talking about this shit, right? No one else is giving this kind of alpha for free on YouTube. No one, right? And that's why my subscribers appreciate me. I give the best alpha you can find in Solana, period, period, right? I give the best alpha, right? So this guy named Bill Sherman, he's like the main guy. If you look at his experience, he comes from a uh, he comes from McKinsey. He's got a consulting background, right? So obviously, McKinsey, you know, one of one of the big consulting firms, right? Did this background? He was there for two years. I mean, did he know? Did he learn anything about investing? Probably not, based on his track record, right? I can only judge this fund and this partner based on. The performance of his portfolio. That's how you evaluate these VCs. You evaluate them based on their actual portfolio performance. Doesn't doesn't matter if he came if he came from McKinsey. I'm a goddamn YouTuber and I've outperformed 99% of the VCs in Solana. Hold on. Let, let, let me say that one more time. Let, 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 let me see this. Let me say this one more time. I'm a Solana YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. I'm an idiot on YouTube. My investment thesis and my portfolio has outperformed. It has outperformed 99% of Solana VCs. Holy shit. When word comes out about this and people are like, this guy in Seoul who's just a regular idiot on YouTube, his thesis is better than every other thesis out there in Solana and his portfolio performance has literally outperformed 99% of Solana VCs. People are going to be like, dude, what the hell was I thinking investing in all these shitty ass VCs projects, these VC projects, right? We, we can just call them VC projects, right? It's just VC projects, right? I don't know how else, how else to describe this kind of shit, right? When you see shit like this, you just call this shit a VC project. That's what it is. They ran to the VCs. I've called out all the Solana founders, right? A, a million times now. I've called them out a million times. They run to the VCs. They don't give a shit about the community. And that's a fact. It's a fact. Let me say this one more time. Solana founders do not care about the community. They don't view us as equals. They run to the VCs, they take the VC money, they all dump together, and retail gets grouped. The community gets screwed, right? You you can just see this kind of stuff happening when you see this these kinds of announcements and you just track these projects, right? And you track the VCs and you see what they do. You see their portfolios. It's just very obvious, right? So this guy clearly has demonstrated zero analytical skills and zero know-how when it comes to investing in Solana. Zero. He has no idea what he's doing whatsoever. This guy's a complete clueless uh, VC who, who I don't even know how he gets into these rounds, right? I mean, you see it occasionally. You go to Discord. You see on tweets. These dumbass VCs think we don't know what they do. They they go on Twitter, these guys, they go on Twitter and then they they start they start tagging these founders and these projects. They're like, hey, we like what you guys are doing. DM us. 
let it send send us a message we want to work with you guys they say all sorts of dumb shit it's all bullshit the vcs ensnare the dumb founders the low iq founders there's a lot of low iq founders on solana let me see this one more time to the solana founders yes there are a lot of low iq founders on solana because they get played by these vcs again either one of the parties got scammed in which case you were extremely low IQ to let these VCs scam you or whoever got scammed, the opposite party involved scammed you. So you are obviously too low IQ to know what you're doing and prevent uh, that type of situation from occurring. Or they were all in on the scam. They were all in on the scam, right? Those are the only two options, right? So as I present this information to you, you should draw right your own conclusions. And I'm just showing you this information and explaining my rationale and explaining why I say the things that I say with the hopes that you understand the logic and the process when I come to my conclusions. And you, you obviously come to the same conclusions for the same reasons. That's the whole point of doing all this, right? It's to become a better investor in Solana. That's the point, right? We all want to become better investors in Solana, right? So this is the type of stuff you got to know. He's coming from Tel Aviv, where a lot of scam companies are based. Jejun Barsami Bajo. 100%. I would not be surprised if Tel Aviv was the headquarters to a lot of the scam shit, right? It would not surprise me at all. It would not be, it would not surprise me at all, right? So again, this Bill Sherman guy who's been investing in and who's been seeding a lot of Solana project, he comes from a consulting background. He comes from McKinsey. He has no idea what, what he's doing whatsoever. Go to the Solar Eco Web. Uh, eco fund website it says a leading venture capital firm in the solana ecosystem so again this is kind of different from the previous vcs that i've looked at right these are basically solana native they, these guys literally have solana in their name it's called solar eco fund right so these guys are masquerading as this kind of benevolent solana um, trustworthy Solana VC. They lure in the dumb low IQ founders because they're like, dude, we're one of you. Founders, we're one of you. We've got solar in our name and we're going to fund you. We love your project. Let us get in early and see you guys. And then these low IQ founders get screwed. They get screwed by these VCs. It's just hilarious. It, it's just farcical. It's comical. It's like... It's a comedy at this point. It's a pure comedy, right? Our thesis on Solana. This is their thesis, right? It's very short. It's a very simple thesis. Solana is the blockchain that best optimizes for throughput while still maintaining sufficient decentralization. There's potential for a huge ecosystem of dApps to be created around Solana. Markets have been consistently undervaluing sold and its ecosystem versus its peers versus Ethereum and BSC. This is probably one of the worst Solana theses of all time. This is terrible. This is terrible. Awful. One of the worst theses I've ever seen in Solana of all time. This is akin to saying we think Solana is great, so we want to invest in anything and everything in Solana. That's basically what it is. They have no kind of like, you know, specific, you know, uh, they've demonstrated no Solana specific knowledge about what is in Solana and why they should inv invest in a certain way. It's extremely general. It's, it's, it's extremely vague and they don't have the kind of specificity that would make this kind of investment thesis a worth a worthwhile one. The only thing this thesis is telling people to do is to buy Solana, the actual Solana coin. That's all you can get from this investment thesis, right? But look at the top, invest in the Solana ecosystem. How is this thesis telling you anything about how you should invest in the ecosystem when they're not giving you any first principles about investing in the ecosystem? This is a bullshit, awful like one of the worst theses I've ever seen in my life in Solana.
my thesis is like 10 times more insightful and it actually has like a logic to it and kind of actually lets people formulate strategies based on things that I've accrued, knowledge that I've gained as I've personally invested in Solana. This, my thesis is way better, a hundred times, a thousand times better than this horse shit. This is garbage. This is telling you nothing. This is telling you zero. You learn nothing from how to invest in this. So it does not surprise me that dummies, idiots, morons who follow these VCs and assume that these VCs know what they're doing, they just blindly invest in these same VC projects and they get wrecked. They get destroyed. And I'll show you how good their thesis has been, this, this so-called thesis, right? So you go to their website. Um, and you can see the kinds of things that they've invested in. Their, por their portfolio is all here. I'm going to skip these three here. right? I'm going to skip Solana, obviously. I'm going to skip FTX, right? Radium, they're not doing very well, right? Radium is not doing very well on the charts right now. Um, uh, but I don't think Radium is like a straight-up scam. I've personally uh, never invested in AMM tokens for for you know, various reasons. I've explained to my subscribers why I personally don't invest in AMM tokens. I, I personally don't have an interest in AMM tokens, right? So if you look at my old um, thesis uh, video, right, I have my own Solana. It's a very specific thesis, right? My uh, investment thesis in Solana. I, I lay out very specific reasons for why i invest in the way i do in solana right so if you want to know how i invest in solana you can look at my investment thesis i explain very clearly how i came up with it it's very simple um there's enough specificity but it's general enough as well where you can get real good insights into investing in solana right it's a really good thesis right that's why my subscribers we're listening to this shit. If you're a foreigner and you have no idea what this is saying, find a Korean friend, have him translate this for you, and you can see the rationale behind my thesis. It's very simple. There's nothing complicated to it, nothing complicated about it, but it makes sense, right? And it actually lays out the first principles for why and how I came up with this thesis, right? This is a simple thesis as well, but it's far more useful than the, the shit that uh, Solar Eco Fund is uh, putting up on their website, apparently, right? So I'm going to I'm gonna give Radium a pass, right? Um, they're, you know, they're not doing well on the charts, but I'm still going to give them a pass because uh, if you got in, obviously, uh, on ID or on IEO day, you're up, but maybe, you know, you're not up a lot, right? Um, so I'm going to basically skip Radium. I want to look at the other kind of lesser known ecosystem projects that they've invested in, right? So this is what a lot of my subscribers are going to be curious about. They're going to want to know, everyone knows Solana, everyone knows FTX, everyone knows Radium, right? But let's see how good were they with their micro caps, right? I would not even really consider Radium a micro cap anymore. Radium is kind of like a mid cap. I would describe them more as a mid cap, right? So, you know, the blue chips and the mid caps, right? I'm, I'm not really going to spend too much time on those. I'm going to look at their really like specific investments, their micro caps and see how they've done, right? Cryo War, I really had no idea what Cryo War was, right? Let's look at Cryo War. Complete disaster terrible performance if you got in when it listed at like one dollar 80 it's like 180 190 you lost money by holding this shit coin it's at 40 like 50 cents or here 48 it's at 48 something cents this is like november right so let's let's run the numbers Let, let's do let's do some numbers all right november december january Three months out, it's at three months to prove itself. It's at like m m just complete like minus territory. It has performed terribly. One of the worst investments in Solana of all time. Three months out, three months out. And if your chart looks like this, 
something went terribly wrong. Something went terribly wrong. I don't know what happened with Cry War, but this chart is awful. Terrible. Terrible. One of the worst investments. One of the lowest performing tokens in Solana of all time. Awful. You can just see they pumped it up. They mega pumped it. And then people just rushed to the exits. Just complete VC pump and dump shit project. Who was involved? Who was involved with this? Obviously, Solar Eco Fund was involved with Cry War. Terrible. I mean, one of the worst investments ever. Now let's go to the next one. Here's a very interesting one, DeFi land. I actually haven't looked at DeFi land, right? In particular, in my videos, right? Let's look at DeFi land. Uh, 우리 구독자들이 댓글 엄청 많은 거 많이 알아. So my Korean subscribers are getting very, <laughs> they're very, they're getting very chatty. 우리 구독자들이 엄청 uh, 하고 싶은 말씀 uh, 많은 거 알아. So uh, my subscribers apparently they they have a lot of things to say. So I'll be talking with them and responding to them. 물론 우리 우리 구독자들한테 uh, 다 이제 하나씩 하나씩 댓글 볼 근데 먼저 이 내용 먼저 이제 전달해줘야 되니까 제가 할말 말씀 말 so I'm going to push out my content first, then I'll go over questions, right? Uh, so I'll look at I'll look at all that stuff, right? Now, here, here's the really interesting thing about DeFi land, right? I put out literally the first DeFi land video on YouTube. And I say this like a million times because... Back when I started uh, YouTubing, right, I'm, I'm the first Solana YouTuber, again, if you didn't know, I put out the first DeFi land video on YouTube. Uh, I got, like, pretty much no thanks from, from DeFi land, right? I got no acknowledgement. I, I didn't even get a beta access key, so I couldn't even uh, try it out on my channel for my subscribers, even though I uploaded their first video on YouTube. I got no thanks from those guys. And it was all, it was kind of like always kind of bizarre to me. Like I gave them like massive publicity when nobody else was, right? Nobody was talking about DeFi land. I was the only one. I, I literally put up their first vi YouTube video. I put up DeFi land's first YouTube video. I got no thanks. I didn't even get a beta testing, a, a beta test key so I can get in and test things out and, uh, you know, raise awareness for them. I got nothing from them in return. I got zero from them in return. So it does not surprise me. They went to the wrong influencers. They paid off the wrong influencers. They got the wrong types of people involved in their projects. People realize, holy shit, DeFi land was a straight up VC pump and dump project. People, apparently people realize that I don't know how many Koreans were promoting DeFi land, right? Um, uh, I made some videos for them, obviously, right, to to help out, raise some awareness, right? Uh, people always wonder, like, uh, dude, like, like, what's your deal with Solana? Like, do you only promote certain projects? If people think I promote only certain projects in Solana, you you have no idea what you're talking about. I was the first one to promote like hundreds of Solana projects when no one even knew what they were. No one knew like so many of this pro some of these projects. I covered no less than dozens, if not hundreds, hundreds of projects for the first time on YouTube, right? I gave YouTube coverage for the first time for like a lot of these Solana projects. I get very little things in return. So if you think that I'm like a shiller for just certain projects that I like, it's not the case whatsoever. I give everyone a fair shake on my channel. I give everyone a fair shake on my channel. None of these projects pay me uh, pay me money. They don't give me kickbacks. They don't pay me $20,000 to make videos for them. They pay the wrong guys to, to raise the wrong kind of hype and then the community found out and they're again the community found out and they're like holy shit this was a vc pump and dump and they ran for the exits defi land becoming a complete disaster does not surprise me at all in hindsight let me say this one more time defi land completely tanking 
And obviously, this was just a VC pump and dump, one of the worst projects in Solana of all time. Looking back and seeing how they treated me, I understand how none of their community was genuine. They had zero genuine community from the get-go. I tell this to my subscribers all the time. I came from the Solana community. If you have no idea how I started YouTubing for Solana, I came from the community first. I say this a million times. Solana didn't hire me. I came from the community. That's my background. Those are my credentials. Who the hell are you, Souls Got Soul, to be representing the community when your name Souls Got Soul? People don't know. I came from the Solana community. This channel was not started when Solana paid me to start promoting them in Korea. That was not the case whatsoever. I started this channel on my own because I like Solana, and that's all it was. These guys, DeFi Land, they clearly screwed up miserably. I would not invest in this project whatsoever. I will never endorse this to my subscribers. Never. I would never recommend this to my subscribers. Awful performance. Again, DeFi Land, who was involved with this catastrophe, this total catastrophe? Solar Eco Fund was involved with DeFi Land. Holy shit, like, I mean, disaster, disaster. A long time ago, like a couple months ago, actually, which is very interesting. My Korean subscribers, they asked me, right, in one of my YouTube videos, they left a comment. They're like, do you, what do you think about DeFi land? Like, do you recommend DeFi land? Obviously, I told them I, I'm never going to recommend DeFi land, right? When I did all this shit for them and they ignored me, and they went to some other people. They paid off some other influencers. That shit backfired on them 100%. I, you know, DeFi Land, it, it's just, it's a pile of dog shit at this point. No one is ever going to invest in DeFi Land. If this thing pumps later, it's all VC shenanigans. It's all VC bullshit. They're going to try to pump things up later to try to find exit liquidity. Don't fall for the trap. Don't don't fall for that trap, right? Again, I'm going to tell my subscribers, when you see charts like this, right? Some of these projects will pump later during the bull. Like when we switch back to a bull market, eventually there will be some sort of bull market. Some of these projects will start pumping again. Do not fall for that dumb VC bullshit. It's all VC whale bullshit. They they buy their own bags to make it look like everything's on the up and up again. They're just looking for exit liquidity. 100%. Do not fall for that trick. Don't fall for that trick. Just don't get involved with any of these kinds of shitty ass projects to begin with. Terrible investment. One of the worst performing port codes of all time. There were a lot of VCs involved in DeFi and land, DeFi land actually. So if you're wondering which Solana VC should I avoid, uh, a very good place to start is look at the DeFi raise. Go to the DeFi seed uh, announcements and go to the DeFi raise announcements. See what kinds of VCs were involved in DeFi land and avoid those uh, projects. Avoid those VC projects. It, 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 will, it will help you a lot down the line. Trust me. Okay. Psy Options recently had their IDO. Right, Sci Options recently had their IDO. It is very early, so it's it it's it's pointless to judge them on, on this one. Right, uh, it's way too early. It's only it's been less than one week. Right, so you can't judge these portcos on their performance three days out from from an IEO. You got to wait three to six months. Right, you got to wait three to six months, one year. Right, whatever. You got to look at them on very long time frames post IEO. Right, so I'm gonna skip Sci Options. It's too early. Symmetry, I'm going to skip them. I've already looked at Symmetry. Parrot was a complete disaster. I'm not going to look into the Parrot chart. I've already covered this project. It was just one of the worst performing uh, projects in Solana of all time. Terrible, awful investment. Mercurial was a terrible, awful investment. This project went to zero, just like Parrot went to zero. Both of these projects went to zero. A lot of Korean VCs were involved with these projects as well right so my subscribers know rok capital a41 they had very heavy involvement with these two shit projects right so obviously uh buyer beware right you've been warned 
Pluto's, I've never really looked at Pluto's, but I recently looked at Pluto's, obviously, as I was re researching for this uh, video, right? So I did look into Pluto's. Holy shit. Pluto's, the Pluto's chart is, I mean, holy shit. Now, the interesting thing about Pluto's, Pluto's is a BSC project. So again, I mentioned at the beginning of this broadcast, so they've actually invested in some, like, a few non-Solana projects. So Pluto's is not a Solana project, right? It's a BSC project, apparently, right? You can see it here. Holy shit. This project was one of the worst VC pump and dumps of all time, right? It started, I guess it started at, what what did it start at? Like 17 or something like that, 17 or 18. The start, the, the price uh, right after IEO was 17 cents, right? 0 0.17, 17. These VCs pumped it up to like a dollar something. And then they ran to the exits. They rushed to the exits. And if you are holding this shit token, the price now is 0 0.03 cents. 0 0.03 cents. The starting price, the IEO price, right, right, right out of the IEO was 0.17. It's 0 0.03, 0 0.03. Complete disaster, complete shit project. I mean, what the hell was Solar Eco Fund thinking? This is just laughable, comical. Who the hell is investing in these kinds of shit projects, right? I really want to know. Who, aside from clueless retail and VCs, is investing in these shit projects? I really want to know. Like, I really want to know. Complete disaster. Terrible. Awful. Complete VC pump and dump. Pluto's network. Holy shit. Solar Eco Fund was involved. Solar Eco Fund was involved. I mean, this is just comical. I mean, holy shit, right? I didn't know about this project at all until I saw it on the, until I saw it on their page, right? I had zero idea. I didn't know what Pluto's was. I had no idea about Pluto's. But I mean, Jesus Christ! I mean, terrible, awful, terrible, right? You are a moron if you invest in these kinds of projects, right? You have no investment acumen whatsoever if you're in, in, investing in, in these kinds of VC pump and dumps, right? Terrible, horrible, I mean, awful, just pure shit, pure horseshit, right? Now let's look at Project Seed. Project Seed is interesting because a couple of my subscribers did ask me about this and I kind of looked into it. It's some kind of like gaming project in Solana, right? I mean, I looked into it, but I didn't formally endorse it, obviously, right? Uh, but I looked into it. It was some kind of gaming thing, right? This is their token. The token listed at a dollar 91 so this is it's the shill token the name of their token for seed right the seed uh project seed token it's called shill s-h-i-l-l -L, right so uh this project seed token the name the ta uh, the ticker is s-h-i-l-l -L, shill right ideal price was a dollar 91 a dollar 91 the current price is 0.16 the current price is 0.16 it listed ieo the listing price was a dollar 91 1.91 the price is 0 .0, 0 0.16 complete disaster complete vc pump and dump these guys pumped it well i mean i mean here's the weird thing about the price action here i mean look at the Right out of the IEO, people were already rushing to the exits, right? They ran to the exits, right? And then they all did it one more time, right? I mean, this, I mean, the gall of Project Seed, the VCs behind Project Seed, I mean, the gall of these assholes, they dump immediately post IEO, they dump it down to 0 0.72. And then they make it look like it's going to go back up to $2 again. They all do this shit one more time. They coordinate this pump. They pump it up exactly to $1.63. And then they all ran for the exits. And now this project is apparently dead in the water. This project is dead in the water. I would not recommend 
this ship project, Project Seed, to anyone in Solana. I feel sorry for anyone who bought into this VC pump and dump bullshit project. Holy shit. One of the worst performing tokens in Solana. I mean, Jesus Christ. It's 11% above the all-time low if you assume 0.416 was the all-time low. Holy shit, if you bought this coin. I mean, you got wiped out. You got wrecked. You got wiped out if you bought this shit project token, this shit token, right? There's no other way to describe these kinds of tokens other than shit tokens, VC pump and dump tokens. There's no other way to describe this kind of garbage, right? It's just complete garbage. Solar Eco Fund. These were the guys behind it. Let's go to the next token. Rope. I had no idea what rope is. None of my subscribers know what rope is, right? But, I mean, look at this chart here. Listed 0.4, 0 0.39, right? It listed at 0.39. They pumped it up. The VCs pumped it up to $2.45. And then they ran to the exits. They ran to the exits. Holy shit. This rope token was a complete vc pump and dump shit project i mean jesus christ i mean you look at the stuff and you can't help but laugh at the gall of these kinds of assholes that advertise themselves as a leading venture capital firm in the solana ecosystem holy shit at the gall of these solana vcs solana vcs are bottom of the barrel Complete trash VCs, garbage VCs, awful VCs, terrible, shitty ass, terrible garbage VCs. This is how they go around advertising themselves. And then this is the performance of their port calls. I mean, Jesus Christ, you have to have no brain, no IQ. Your IQ must be non existent if you still haven't figured out how the Solana game works. This is how the Solana game works. I mean, Jesus Christ, right? Like, how dumb, like, as a VC, right? How dumb as a VC do you have to be if you see the other VCs that have gotten in with you and you see the quality of their investments and how terrible they are, and then you are completely okay with associating your brand with these kind of shit scam VCs in Solana. Let me say this one more time to the founders and the VCs and the community who watch this, v this, this video later. How insane do you have to be as a VC when you see these kinds of VCs amongst yourselves when they get into these seed rounds and you are completely okay with people like me just shitting on these kinds of shit, terrible VCs and your names are right next to these kinds of people. Holy shit, something is completely wrong with these Solana VCs. Something has gone completely wrong with these Solana VCs, right? What is wrong with these Solana VCs? They have no like intelligence whatsoever. They have no PR experience whatsoever. They have no interest in building up the solana community whatsoever i say this i'm saying this again solana vcs do not care about us at all solana vcs are here to fuck us and that's all they do they don't care about us they don't give us any seat at the table i've asked these solana vcs to give me a seat at the table a million times and no one, no one has reached out to me. No one has given me a seat at the table. I mean, just, just let that sink in. Let that sink in for a moment, right? The most outstanding, the most honest per community uh, member and representative in Solana has zero seat at the table with these assholes. That's all you need to know about these VCs. These VCs are pure garbage. These are pure garbage. Terrible. Solana VCs are awful. Pure shit. Like 99% of them are shit. Pure shit. It's terrible. It's awful, right? 
I mean, like I'm vomiting just having to go through all of these projects. It's like it's making me want to vomit. That's how I feel right now. Like I want to throw up right now all, all over my keyboard. It's just disgusting. Like how I have to show all this stuff. It's just it's it's just terrible. It's awful, right? I really literally feel like vomiting right now, right? My subscribers are probably all thinking the same feeling thinking and feeling the same shit. They're my subscribers, 우리 구독자들은 다 똑같아요. My subscribers are all feeling the same shit. Holy shit. This is what goes on in Solana. Every <laughs> everyone on my channel is thinking and feeling the same thing. Holy shit at this disaster. Just, just complete disaster of a VC and complete disaster of these projects that they've managed to get involved in, right? The the founders are to blame as well. Let let, let me make that uh, abundantly clear. All of these low IQ founders who got involved with these dumbass VCs, you guys are all just as uh, blameworthy as Solar Eco Fund. And that's a fact. That's the truth, right? If these VC, if these founders were too low IQ to conduct their due diligence, and I'm the one who's pointing this out to them, they are 100% in on the scam. All of the Solana VCs, these the Solana V or these founders, I'm sorry, these Solana founders, they're all in on the scam. And it's just the truth. It's a fact. I'm sorry to say it, but it's a fact. These Solana VCs. Their hands are just as dirty as the VC's hands. They're all equally guilty as charged. They're all gu equally guilty as charged. And that's a fact. It's the truth, right? Let's go to SciPool, right? I didn't really know much about SciPool. What the, what the hell is SciPool? I didn't know much about this project. All I know is that I go to the chart. It lists the listing price is 10 cents, right? They go to 10 cents. They go to 15 cents. And it's at 0 0.02 cents. 0 0.02 cents. This is September. They listed in September. So let's let's run some numbers here. Let, let's do some numbers here. September, October, November, December, January. It's like almost February. It, it's like basically February now. It's like six months out. They've had basically six months to prove themselves. This token as a is at 0 0.02. 0 0.02. That's the price. That's the performance of this investment. Lists at 0.10 and it's at 0 0.02. This project is dead in the water. This is just a complete scam shit project. I mean, holy shit. Like, how dumb do you have to be if you got involved with SciPool? Holy shit. I mean, Jesus Christ, you are, I mean, you are holding on to literal dog shit if you are holding this in your portfolio. If you have side pool in your portfolio, you're you you have made a terrible investment decision. I feel really bad for you. I feel sorry for you if you invested in this shit project. Holy shit. Let's look at lyrics. Lyrics is another project that that I covered on my channel, right? Um, again, if people like, here's the thing: if people accuse me, Soul's got soul. You're so biased. You only cover the projects that you like and that you only endorse. Uh, your your projects that you endorse. Those are the only kind of projects that you shill on your channel. Complete, complete uh, mis mischaracterization of what I do on my channel. I give all Solana projects a fair shake. When projects treat me with respect and they reach out to me, I cover them on my channel. I covered Mercurial. I covered Mango. I covered Step. I covered a lot of projects. None of these Solana projects pay me to cover them on their channel. Actually, a lot of them actually later on, they will actually pay me $20,000 to cover them on their channel and cover them in a positive light. Because they will realize they went to the wrong influencers who have no idea what they're doing. And those influencers have fucked the founders, right? They'll they'll come to me eventually and they'll be like, dude, like I realized I made a huge mistake going to these weird ass bit boy assholes and paying them twenty thousand dollars. 
can you like put in a good word for me on your channel? Because we know you're an honest stand up guy and your subscribers will trust you. That day will come. And that day, when that day comes, it's going to be absolutely hilarious seeing these assholes running to me later. Hey, Soul's Got Soul, you only cover Soul Rise. You only cover the shit that you like. Complete lies. Look at this right here. I covered lyrics. I covered Lifinity. I covered Port. I covered Friction. I give all Solana projects a fair shake. Do not accuse me of some sort of bullshit about me being biased towards the projects that I like only. That's not the case whatsoever. I give everyone a fair shake on my channel. I cover all Solana projects. I cover all Solana projects. So do not in the future accuse me of being biased towards projects in Solana that I like personally. That's not the case whatsoever. I am very fair. I am very fair on my channel. Right, I'm extremely equitable. Okay, but I mean, Cypool, Jesus Christ, right? You, you, this, I mean, complete disaster, horrible. Good job, Solar Eco Fund. You screwed everyone who was holding this shit token. Jesus Christ, right? This makes me want to throw up. I want to vomit right now. Right? Let's go to the next project, Apricot. I already covered this project, A41 was involved with apricot this project went to zero this turned out to be another solana vc pump and dump just terrible just awful right terrible terrible performance i'm not even going to look at the chart you can i already saw this chart a while ago right goose fx i was curious about goose fx i didn't really know what it was it turns out it was a dex it was some kind of solana dex um to my subscribers i've said this a million times i I don't recommend uh, investing in DEX tokens. Don't, don't invest in DEX tokens, right? That That's just a rule, right, with how I invest, right? Goose FX list for 0.32. The listing price is 0.32, right? You can see here, 0.31 or 0.32. I, I guess it's 0.32. The price of this token is 0.087 to, or 0.085. Jesus Christ, it's still dumping. This shit coin is still dumping. Jesus Christ, complete disaster. Complete disaster. This DEX token, what happened to it? Solar Eco Fund, complete VC pump. They had, they had the pump, they pumped it, and then they ran to the exit, and then they killed this project. The founders, the VCs were all in on the scam. The Goose FX founders, the VCs were all in on the scam on this shit project. Complete shit project. There's no other way to describe this as another solar eco fund disaster VC pump and dump. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, you see some of these charts and you're just like, how did they get away with this bullshit for such a long time? Like, holy shit. Who let them get away with this bullshit? Who let them, who let these terrible Solana VCs, who let these terrible Solana VCs get away with this kind of straight up scam bullshit, right? I want to know who are the influencers who they paid off, who, what kind of influencers did they pay off to promote these shit projects? What kind of VCs were in on the scam? Obviously, Solar Eco Fund and all of their associated VCs were in on the scam. All the people, all the VCs who seeded uh, Goose were in on the scam. The founders were in on the scam. Everyone was in on the scam for some kind of bullshit like this to happen. Jesus Christ. I mean, Jesus Christ. Horrible. Awful. Terrible. I mean... I mean, I can't help but laugh. It's just laughable. I mean, you see this and you're like, no one takes Solana. I mean, I gotta I gotta send it, I gotta send another message to the higher ups at Solana. Hire me as your Korea operations manager. I have far better analytical skills and i'm an actual community builder in solana i've demonstrated far superior community building skills and investing prowess in solana if anyone at solana listens to this hire me 
as your one of your analysts, one of your in-house analysts, or give me a position in Solana where I can act as the sole, apparently the sole last honest person left in Solana. If you don't do that, Solana's reputation is never, never going to recover after I, after I expose this kind of shit in Solana. Let me say this directly to Dominic, all the BD people, Colleen. If I have to go straight to Raj and Anatoly for this, Aleph, Tina, whoever is involved in BD, all you people, the Solana Foundation, the only way you are going to redeem yourselves, Solana, is if you hire me and I become your in-house in -house ombudsman. That's it. There's no recovering from this kind of shit that I'm showing everyone and everyone's going to see this. Bitcoin people are going to be talking about this and th saying, holy shit, the first Solana YouTuber is exposing all of this shit. Ethereum people are going to watch this video. They'll come across this video later and they're going to be like, holy shit, the first Solana YouTuber ex is exposing all the dumb bullshit that goes on in Solana. The the best thing that Solana right can do or any Solana project at this at this point can do is have me on with them to give them some kind of credibility as we move on. And that's a fact. It's the truth, right? There's no honest people left in Solana except for me. There's no one left. There's literally no one who is honest and who speaks honestly and does everything out in the open and who's held accountable i'm literally the only person left i'm the only honest voice left in solana so if, again if any solana founders if any solana projects or solana itself wants me to work with them on an official basis to regain some credibility that you have my dms are open i'm i'm the first solana youtuber i've said this many times i'm not going anywhere I'm always willing to work with whoever is willing to work with me. And we will make things right. We, we will make things right in Solana. Solana will thrive. The community, the Solana community will thrive. We will do well in the long term. But only if you make these kinds of hard decisions. I made the hard decision to stop from basically to basically stop getting money as a Solana Korean ambassador. Like I, I don't even get paid, right? As a Solana Korean ambassador, basically anymore, right? No one, you know, no one is. Uh, there's no financial interests on my channel. My hands are clean, at, and it, it's I'm basically independent at this point, right? You have nothing to lose by onboarding me with with your project or anyone up there in Solana who wants to who wants to bring me on, right? You have everything. Uh, you have uh, everything. Uh, you know, to lose by not bringing me on. And, and that's a fact at this point, right? Because no one is saying this kind of shit, honestly. No one, no one. Eventually, people will hear about this. Of course, people will hear about this. They'll hear that I offered my credibility as someone who came from the community who's squeaky clean. My reputation is squeaky clean. I've operated, I've never operated in the shadows. I operate out in the open. My wallets are have always been here from day one. My community knows. They hold me accountable because I'm very open and I'm very direct about them. They know my addresses. They scan my shit. They can see that I don't dump on them and that I stand by my word, right? I don't say shit that I don't believe in. And it's a fact, right? That's why my subscribers trust me. That's why my subscribers don't trust these kinds of assholes. My subscribers don't trust these founders. My subscribers don't trust these shitty-ass VCs involved in Solana. They trust me. They trust me because I've demonstrated that I'm the last honest person in Solana. Sorry, I, I had to go on a little rant there. I had to go on a little mini rant there uh, because, you know, some things just have to be said. Some things just have to be said in Solana, right? Let's go to Krita fans. I don't know if, oh yeah, Krita, Krita fans didn't have a token. Right? I, I looked up Krita fans. There was no token for Krita fans, right? And there was no uh, wallet for Slope, or there was, no to there was no token for Slope, right? So Slope doesn't have a token. Krita fans doesn't have a token, right? So that's basically their portfolio. So again, you look at their, uh, you look at their performance. 
Um, these guys are probably F tier uh, VCs in Solana. F tier. I mean, I don't know if you can get. I, I would rank them F minus. They they deserve F minus, right? If I had to give them a ranking, right? Literally bottom of the barrel VCs. And yet, and yet they get into these rounds, right? How do these kinds of funds get into these rounds? That's what I want to know. These are probably some of the worst uh, you know, the the whoever's behind this team, right? This guy right um bill and his team these guys are literally the worst vcs and all of these dummies are associating themselves with solar eco fund jesus christ jesus christ i don't know what these vcs are thinking just these guys must be like something is wrong with these vcs something is terribly wrong with these solana vcs if they're like just still trying to pull off their shit and they think that we don't know the game we know the game you assholes we know the game you dummies you idiots who think that we don't know i'm putting this shit on youtube it's out there the content is out there I'm, i pushed out the content there's no taking this back i can't delete this video i'm not going to delete this shit it's out there my subscribers they want to know the truth my subscribers, they want to know the truth, and I'm giving them the truth 100%. So you dummies better smarten up and give us a seat at the table, and uh, uh, I will hold uh, you guys accountable as an in-house ombudsman right, uh, or partner with your projects. right? I will gladly partner up with projects that I think are worthwhile projects in Solana, and I will uh, help you grow your projects, and that's a fact. That's a fact, right? Because I'm not a two-time behind the closed doors, shady uh, asshole, right? I don't do that shit, right? I operate out in the open and I am very honest to my community, right? Uh, and that should be worth a million times whatever you dummies think your valuations are going to give you and your founders, all these people involved. These, these guys have no idea what they're doing when they tweet this kind of stupid shit. We know. We we know. If they think we don't know, we know. Don't don't treat us like idiots. We know. Okay? It's a fact. We know. We know what's going on, right? Uh the cat's out of the bag. I've already said this so many times, right? The cat is out of the bag. The cat is out of the bag, right? And that's a fact. Now I'm going to go to the last thing that I want to talk about. Uh, I said I had a special uh, message for the Solana founders. So if there's any Solana founders, right, who watch this later, right, um, this is for you guys, right? So later when the Solana founders, they come across this video, um, they, they can skip to here and, and they can see this message, right? So I'm speaking again directly to all Solana founders. George came out with this very interesting tweet. George's tweet says, also here on my community thing, if selling all your co coins at IDO equals my community, then that's already been done and validates claims to the contrary. Community oriented, um, you realize multiple IDOs sold on I, IDOs on Soul sold like 90% of supply at IDO and tokens like Step is the only one in the eco with four of value accruals with more coming every week. This is a retarded narrative from people who haven't actually looked into things, to be honest. And in most cases, VCs haven't even been minted coins yet due to the vesting periods. To my subscribers, are you going to believe these founders when they say things like this? Are you going to believe the VCs in Solana when they say things like this? Or are you going to believe people like me? who literally post their wallet addresses for everyone to see and scan. You can scan to see if I sold any of my soul rise. I sold zero. I haven't sold any of my soul rise. You can see it right here, right? I haven't sold any of this. George is accusing the community. He's accusing us of we are the ones dumping on them. Holy shit at the gall of these Solana founders. These Solana founders are literally pointing the fingers at us. Let me say that one more time. These Solana founders, all of these assholes who are in on the scams, they were all in on the scams, right? They're all in on the scams. I've proven that already. 
these people who are all in on the scam, they turn around and go on Twitter and point the finger at us. And they say, we are the ones dumping. The VCs have not dumped. They can't even sell. And I'm showing you actual proof that I did not dump a single coin of my soul rise. I've only endorsed one project. I've, I've officially only endorsed one project. You can see all my tokens here. Have I sold any of my soul rise? Do you see me selling any of my soul rise? The one project that I've officially endorsed on my channel. Do you see people in the community like me dumping? Do you see us dumping? The Solana devs do not trust us. And my response to these low IQ Solana founders is they could have given me 25% of their token supply. I would have stayed more loyal than 99% of the VCs. I've only endorsed one project. I've sold zero from that bag. Meanwhile, you're starting to see a bunch of Solana founders speaking out and saying they can't trust the community. Lies. All lies, the VCs, founders, and influencers are all in on the scam, period. This is the truth. This is the opposite of the truth. Let me say this one more time to my subscribers. They're tired to this hill. This is all lies. This is the truth. And the reason my subscribers know I'm telling the truth is because I'm showing them and leading by example. Do you see these founders and these VCs posting their wallet addresses? Do you see these Solana influencers posting their wallet addresses when they say they care about the community? Do they post their wallet addresses when these VCs say, oh, we locked up Sabre for five years, right? Chris at Race. Chris came out at race and he was like, we locked up Sabre for five years. Do you see him posting his wallet? Do you see him showing that he has sold zero? That's all I need to say. The only thing I need to do to convince my subscribers is to show them and be honest with them. They believe me because they can check themselves. We can't, we can't hold any of these people accountable right because we can't see exactly what they what they actually have done when they sell and when they buy right we don't know exactly what goes on it's hard to keep them accountable we can only keep them accountable when it comes to how their tokens have performed that's the only information that we know right because the price action never lies we hold them accountable based on price action right how really loyal were these VCs and these founders to their own projects. It would be very sad if these Solana founders literally were like, uh-oh, this project is screwed. We, we're just going to dump in and we're going to leave this project dead in the water. I'm sure that has happened a lot of times in Solana, right? Like the mean Fi guys, right? I would not be surprised if if the mean Fi guys were, were trying to pull off some bullshit like that, right? So again, my subscribers are smart. They're smart. They know who to trust. They know that there are very few honest people in Solana to trust. And I am one of those very honest people in Solana. So they trust me. I trust my community. I love my community. My community loves me. And that's a fact. So again, Solana founders, I'm giving you another chance. Work with me. Don't try to do skit, sketchy, shady shit. Be honest. Bring me onto your projects, and I will grow your projects met, like multiples of what you think these VCs can do to help grow your projects. And that's a fact. That's a fact. It's just a, it's just a pure fact. It's a plain fact, right? So I've said what I wanted to say. Uh, 한 시간 넘게 제가 그 말씀 전달, 전달했으니까 죄송하지만 I, I, I've been ranting for like over an hour but again some very important things just need to be said right 어쩔 수 없어 솔라나에 되게 중요한 얘기 해야 돼요 이렇게 솔직히 그래서 uh, 우리 구독자들이 uh, 지금, uh, 지금까지 그냥 조용히 기다려줬으니까 uh, 너무 감사합니다 이제 여기 질문 하나씩 하나씩 볼게요. I'll look at the questions now. There's a lot of questions. This is shaping up to be like a crazy broadcast. 완전 레즈드 방송이에요 오늘, right? 
worst mean fi. Chuzong <laughs> Chuzong Jung mean fi kagen otke de ozigum. Like, I mean, I'm curious, like what happened to mean fi, right? I'm very let's look at mean 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 fi humble pop style. Like what happened? I'm curious, right? The price of of mean it, mu it must be like at zero. This, this is probably at zero. But can mean fi you could token can kagu chigo ademion ama young or kasusko amado chinta can chigo adem and chigum, right? I'm pop style. Like let's see what happened to their token, right? It it is probably not doing well like at all right holy shit wow you got that tebagi da you go i mean jesus christ i mean holy shit if you invested in me fight to mean fight to test me on wow oh my minus 50 percent <laughs> Oh my god, complete disaster. Complete disaster. One junk have bang is one junk came on. So you go, oh, so Ted out the end of there. I mean, Jesus Christ, like, I mean, you go to YouTube, and I mean, there's still like people, like, people are still promoting mean fi. I'm sure, right? You just, I mean, YouTube come on. I'm a adjective to mean fi. Is a humble head in his heart of musical. I'm a door, right? I, I guarantee you look on YouTube and you just see some weird ass shit about mean fi. I'm sure, still, right? This guy is still, I don't know who this scammer is. You don't have to do me, adjective to mean fi, humble head to right? Adjective to humble head to I mean, who is this guy? Crypto man. I think about you don't say you don't know do you don't influencer. To that you do go. Where you don't can back being fire home boys go back. You don't care. Think about Bruno Titon Padaccio. I mean, obviously, like you see these kinds of people. Like, who are these people? Chicken cup, chicken cup, perja. Like, who are these people? Think about a cookie. Pearson, Shide Hurumur Intuja. I mean, Jesus Christ, right? The same guy here, Tokatin Dom Dago, Chicken Gapurza. I mean, true DeFi, Tudu DeFi. I mean, this guy was 10 days ago, Yen and Shibi Tone, right? I mean, who are these people? You don't influence the duo, Coins Hunyan. Right, this guy's talking about mean five, maybe. I don't know why mean five is tagged here, but you mean five way yogi down is before it's mad. I mean, there's still Korean influencers who are promoting mean five. I think the uh, Hangukin influencer duty mean five home page go so. I mean, like, what, like, what kind of sketchy ass shit goes on for this stuff to keep on happening? Is it titono or mana bani to go isan titadaga? I think to eat. 그런 이상한 짓 하길래 아직도 이런 사람들이 미인파에 홍보해줘. 소아 이제 한국인 인플루언서들이. I mean, 진짜 사람들 믿을 믿을 수가 없어. You can't trust anyone. You cannot trust a goddamn person in Solana. It's just sad. It's just so sad that this is what it has come to. 이렇게 이제 어, 소아나가 이렇게 됐으니까 너무 슬퍼요 개인적으로 너무 슬퍼 너무 너무 슬퍼 I'm just so sad that I I have to see this stuff right I'm I'm very sad when I see this stuff right 어자 uh, 반등 가자 소아나 믿어 소아나 믿어도 됩니까 후크 <웃음> 데이스님 어 uh, 진짜 궁금 지, 진짜 궁금하면 소아나 소아나가 큰 변화가 있어야 돼요. One of my subscribers, he's like, can I trust Solana? I've done what I could. I've done what I could. My subscribers, they're wondering, like, how can Solana like redeem itself? I've already offered Solana uh, my services. I can 
restore their name. Um, so it's really up to Solana at this point. 이제 지금은 이제 Solana가 걔네들이 알아서 해야죠. 저를 이제 동업 저랑 동업할 건지 아니면 뭐 이런 거뭐 계속 무시하고 모르는 척 하는지 그런 이제 어 반응 보고 그 그때 이제 Days 님이 어, 결정해요. Right? So to my subscribers, see how Solana reacts to what I'm telling my subscribers and what I'm offering them a chance to like restore their image and their reputation with us right the people right the community right see how they react to this whatever they do and however they react to me it will give you a very good insight as to what direction solana wants to go right is a solana guy is it an issue in your name or the pang yang or kago spins a uh can it a pattern for go uh days name do is a the park has a Right. See, see what happens. I've extended this offer to Solana. If they, whatever, based on whatever they do, uh, I, I would uh, go from there. Right. Call give to is a park here. You know, the panning it out there. Right. So again, Solana, balls in your court. Balls in your court, Solana. Okay. Reeve Collins, 안녕하세요. Solis coin, the humble pangsung hedges up. So, Solis coin, and well, could you pangsung high pit off? So it's good. Right. I don't really, some of my, One of my subscribers asked me about Soul Lease. Soul Lease just had their IDO. I will give them like three to six months before I before I uh, before I cover them to see what happens to them. Right? I haven't recommended these guys. Uh, Soul Lease and I think IDO, uh, 된지 얼마 안 됐고 한 3개월 6개월 이상 이제 봐야 uh, 그때 이제 파악할 수 있을 것 같아요. 이, 이 프로젝트에 진짜 투자할 만한지. 어, 궁금했으면 저는 이런 프로젝트 한 번도 공식적으로 추천해 본적 없어. I've never endorsed this to uh, my subscribers if you're curious, right? Um, so I will cover I will do like a dedicated solely um, broadcast later. 나중에 할 거예요. 3월 한 6개월, 3월 6개월 뒤에 그때 할게요. 어, uh, Reef Collins 님이 Solana 뿐 아니라 다 엉망진창이라서 지금은 <웃음> 네, 그런 사람들 많죠. Yeah, they a lot of just sketchy people. There's sketchy people everywhere in crypto. Crypto and 항상 그런 사람들 많아. 못 믿는 사람 되게 많아요. 가격은 떨어지는 게 괜찮은데 네트워크가 불안정한 거 걱정돼요. Uh, yeah, so one of my Korean subscribers is like the network went down. I mean, it was the bot spamming Solana higher ups. They keep on saying it was bot spam that slowed it down. Solana, we said I'm doing it's a bot spamming. Got to go them and they did. Kore got do those in go got to that. Uh, do that's by some hand there. Tonin is a Solana foundation. You don't check up to go to check so to go to Yegi Ananika. So the talk here type of out, right? Uh, I don't know exactly what the technicals are. I don't speak to Solana Foundation on a one-to-one -one basis, on a direct basis. So I can't really answer that with 100% certainty. Right? Uh, like, I'm not a, a person who's very high up in Solana. He says, Solana is a person who's not a person who's not a person who's not a person who's not yeah i mean yeah i know the solana network suffered i mean you know to armani's credit you know armani and uh, anatoly uh, i will not doubt i will not doubt what armani has said about the network issues is a uh, armani guy Uh, 이제 Solana Network 이제 그 지금 고치 고쳤다고 많이 고쳤다고 이제 많이 이제 열심히 uh, 이거 코딩 이제 uh, 고쳤다고 말씀하니까 저는 뭐 믿어요 uh, 의심하지는 않아요. 아마니 아마니가 말하면 저는 uh, 의심하지는 않아요. Right? I, you know, Armani. I, I feel like he's pretty trustworthy. You know, compared to most people in Solana. So if he's coming out and he's saying that, you know, they, they've been working really hard on it and trying to fix this issue, like, I believe him. Right? Um, so, you know, I'm not going to question what, what he's saying here with regards to this. He said, Solana Foundation 직접 직접 
상식적으로 얘기 안 하니까 어, 저도 뭐 100% 하, 확실하진 않아요. Right? So again, I'm not on a one on uh, direct basis, one on one uh, direct basis with anyone in Solana Foundation. So I can't really answer those kinds of questions. Right? 그런 질문은 제가 대답 잘 못해요. Right? You just have to wait and see if, if this stuff keeps happening. 그냥 우리 같은 경우는 그냥 계속 지켜보고 나중에 이런 상황이 또 나타나는지 그런 거 봐야 돼요. 그런 거 봐야 돼요. Right? 그렇긴 한데 이슈가 생각보다 오래 가고 해당 이슈를 해결한 더 좋은 다음 시대 코인들이 나올 수도 있는 거죠. Yeah, I mean, so one of my subscribers says, right? Uh, what if Solana does not figure out these issues and another blockchain comes around where they don't have these kinds of issues? That will be a much more worthwhile blockchain to invest in. That's what he says. 저도 뭐 그렇게 생각하죠. 물론 마, 만약에 그런 이제 나중에 다른 체인이 그렇게 나오면 물론 그, 그렇게 생각할 수도 있죠. Right? I mean, that's everyone has to like make their own investment decisions. 다 개인으로 파악하고 투자하는 거예요. 개인으로 파악하고 투자하는 거. Reef Cons, BSC, Chain도 그렇고 Solana도 하고 Avalanche, Pentium이 사용해 보니 좋더라고요. Okay, so this guy is saying, um, um, Avalanche and Phantom. It's good. It's good to use those uh, chains. I have no experience with any other L1s. 저희 같은 경우는 다른 Layer One. 관심 없고 어 uh, uh, so I've never interact I've never used anything on anything other than Solana. I've only interacted with Solana protocols. 저희 같은 경우는 Solana 만 uh, 사용해요. I only use Solana protocols and I only, I only care about Solana. I don't really care about anything else, right? 다른 거 별로 신경 안 써요. 관심 없어. 이더가 가스비 문제는 누구나 알고 막대한 지금들이 투입되지만 고치기 힘들고 다음 시대 코인들 계속 나오는 것처럼요. Yeah, okay. So just people are debate. My subscribers are just debating the whole like Ethereum versus Layer One shit, right? 그런 게 없죠. 그리고 okay. So I'm gonna skip. I think there's just a lot of debate. 어 uh, 우리 구독자들끼리 뭐 토론 같은 거 하니까 그건 uh, 넘어갈게요. So a lot of 질문 같은 거 볼게요. Uh, I'm gonna skip like the debates with the subscribers and and go to stuff that they ask me directly. 저한테 직접으로 물어보는 거 볼게요. Right? FTX Sam, 난 당신을 믿어. <laughs> Sam FTX. I mean, the FTX token has done all right. Uh, obviously, it's his baby, right? So he can't he can't crush it too hard, right? FTX token, FTT token, is it? Bongri token, is it? Too much, right? Obviously, it's his reputation on the line with FTT, right? So he can't screw around with it too much, right? FTT token got to go, FTX got to go, and just Bongri. 애기니까 뭐 그렇게 막 이상한 짓할 수는 없고 왜냐면 다들 이제 보니까 지켜보니까 right? 음, okay, so I'm gonna skip the stuff with In and Reeve. 음, 미래는 알수 없는 저번 시즌 핫했다가 사라진 애들도 많으냐? 샘 화이팅. <웃음> 개망. Soul Fire Lug 했다던데. <웃음> 콜. <웃음> Cur Curdy name, Curdy name. So one of my subscribers is like, dude, Soulfire was a rug. Dude, I was pointing that out a long ass time ago that Soulfire was a rug, right? The big news today, right, with Solana rugs, Soul Life was a rug. Holy shit, right? Soul Life was a rug. Some of my subscribers asked me about Soul Life, and I was like, dude. I would not invest in this. I clearly stated that shit. 우리 구독자들이 라이브 방송 할때 옛날에 진짜 옛날에 이거 Soul Life 저한테 물어봤어. People were asking me about Soul Life. They're like, "What do you think about Soul Life?" And I was like, "Dude, I would not invest in this." Right? I said it very clearly. 제가 저희 같은 경우는 이런 거 절대 투자 안안 한다고 했어요. 분명. 근데 결국 러기였어. 러기였어. I mean, I mean, like. Who are these Korean influencers? 
Who, wh- what kinds of sites are these sketchy ass Korean sites? 한국 influencers들 도대체 누구 어, 누구 누구예요? 한국인 influencers들. Salon 이제 이거 한국 한국 사이트에 한국 코인 사이트에 스팀 코인 파 이런데 이런 사람들이 이런 글 쓰면 뭐예요 도대체? 뭐예요 도대체? 저는 진짜 궁금해요. 저는 이런 사이트에 솔직히 안 보거든요. 이런 사이트 전혀 이제 안 봐요. 저희 같은 경우는. Right? I don't look at these weird ass Korean neighbor blogs and these weird ass Korean blogs and these Korean forums. 이상한 이제 한국인 사이트 안 봐요. 저희 같은 경우는. Right? I don't look at these Korean sites. Right? But Korean people look at this kind of shit. This is where they get their investment advice. 이제 한국 불쌍한 한국인들이 이상한 데서 뭐 유튜브에 이상한 인플루언서를 만나고 이상한 사이트, 한국 사이트에서 가고 잘못 투자하면 이렇게 돼요. 완전 이제 rug, rug 돼요. 완전 완전 rug pull. They just get rug. They go to these sketchy ass Korean influencers and sketchy ass Korean sites, and then they they end up getting rug like soul life. I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, I mean, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Holy shit. Right. I mean, Jesus Christ. Right. Um, and I'll tell you when I found out about the Soul Fire rug pull. 제가 Soul Fire 가 rug pull 언제였는지 제가 어, 다시 알려줄게요. 옛날에 이거 알고 있었어. 완전 옛날에. Let, let me show you exactly when I found out that Soul Fire was a rug pull. January 19th. How, how long ago was that? 이, 이때 19일에 제가 알게 됐어. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. A week ago, seven days ago, I knew this was a rug pull. 일주일 전에 제가 이거 rug pull인 거 알고 있었어. 제가 여기 그런 거 보세요. Makes you wonder why Project Lyrics, Slope Finance, and Psy Options are partners with them. All of them in on the scam too. 제가 완전 세게 났어. I came out guns blazing. I came out guns blazing with this tweet. I straight up called out. All the people who were involved with Soulfire. Project Lyrics. Project Lyrics. Uh, these are the people who are involved with Soulfire, right? Soulfire 동업자 여기 나와요. Psy Options, Slope Wallet, and Lyrics. 이세 가지 프로젝트 얘네들이랑 동업했어. These guys were partners with Soulfire. Holy shit. Holy shit that these guys soul fire this rug was partnering up with Psy Options, a project like Psy Options and Slope Wallet and Project Lyrics. They were all in on the scam. I mean, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, right? I called them out. I called them out. I called all of these people out. No conflict of interest here for Psy Options to be partnering with the scam shit project. Psy Options we abundant protocol in Obviously, these guys claim to have built on top Psy Options. Psy Options has a direct interest. They have a perverse incentive of promoting these kinds of partnerships because they it is something that benefits Psy Options if they announce things like this, right? It's a Psy Options 같은 경우는 관심이 있어. 이런 Soulfire protocol, it's a Psy Options 위에 개발하니까 Psy Options 가 물론 관심이 있어. 이런 프로젝트, 이런, 이런 프로젝트, 이런 이 Soulfire 랑 동업한다고 그런 관심이 있어. 워낙 그런 이제 약간 어, 악, 어, 악마 같은 관심이 있어. 왜냐면 동업자니까 위에 이제 만든 프로토콜이니까. 근데 I said it extremely clearly. What I feel about when I see shit like this. 저희 같은 경우는 이런 이상한 짓 보면 제가 분명히 말했어요. Kento is one of the most like dishonest persons I've people I've ever seen in Solana. Kento, I'm calling you out again. I know, again, you're over at UXD Protocol, right? If someone can get this message out to Kento, I would love for someone to talk to this joker, right? Kento got to 웃기는 놈이 
이런 대답하니까 저는 그냥 기가 막혔어. I was like amazed that this joker says, "What the fuck are you talking about when I said this?" Kento, you moron. I'm going to call you a moron because that's what you are. You moron who's pretending that no one knows what's going on here. 이거 잘 생각해야 돼요. 우리 구독자들이 잘 생각해야 돼요. My subscribers, you got to like really think carefully about how you interpret these kinds of actors and tweets in Solana. Solana, 이런 개발자들이랑 이런 프로젝트들이랑 이런 VC들 트윗 하는 거잘 보세요. You got to really think about what their intentions are and what they're tweeting about. Kento replies to me here by saying, what the fuck are you talking about? He's questioning me. He's questioning my credibility. 저희 이제 솔직함을 의심시키는 거이 Solana 개발자. 그래서 물론 제가 바로 여기 증거를 보여줬어. I the only thing I had to do to show that Kento is a moron, Kento is an idiot who's just like he he's reflexively defending his his buddies over at Psy Options. That's what he's doing here, right? Obviously, he's just instinctually defending the Psy Options team here. It's just Kento 같은 경우는 이제 Solana 개발자니까 그냥 Um, uh, 이거 본능적으로 그냥 바로 이 사이옵션 스팀 이제 수비해주고 싶으니까 보호해주니까 이렇게 나오는데 저희 같은 경우는 이런 거 하나만 이게 트윗으로 대답하면 돼요. The only thing I need to do to respond to these kinds of moronic tweets that Kento that you tweeted at me, you moron for pointing this kind of stupid shit out and trying to make it look like I'm the bad guy here. And 제가 나쁜 사람으로 만든 사람으로 하려고 하니까 이런 트윗 하는데 저는 이거 하나만 보여줘야 돼요. Soulfire, Partners, PsyOptions, Slope Wallet, and Project Lyrics. Holy shit, you moron. 이 완전 멍청한 새끼예요. 이런 웃기는 새끼. Right? This guy's an idiot. I just showed him this, and he shut his ass up. He shut his ass up. He says, "What's wrong with integrations? It's permissionless." This guy's response was hilarious. It's permissionless. They don't have to ask to build on top of us, but they'll use our name with them and advertise them as such. And Psy Options will retweet their shit, and Psy Options will not deny. Anything that they had to do with these guys until I call them out. 제가 진짜 싫어하는 거는 이 사이 옵션스 팀이 걔네들한테 이제 좋게 보일 때는 이런 이상 프로젝트 이제 같이 홍보해주고 리트윗해주고 같이 동업한다고 뭐 샬라샬라 이런 개소리 하면서 나중에 이런 이제 록풀이 이제 알게 됐으니까 people these psy options people were like yeah we're gonna retweet you let's partner up and let's make it look like people are building on top of our protocol obviously we have a vested interest in pointing this kind of shit out and then later people like me call out that these guys were a straight up rug pull scam shit project and then they go oops like we weren't really involved with them Bull fucking shit, Tommy and Kento. 저희 같은 경우 이런 거 전혀 이런 말안 받아. 얘네들이 손이 깨끗했다고. 얘네들이 얘네들이 우리 코드 위에 이거 결합성 있었으니까 얘네들이 알아서 우리 허락 없이 이렇게 만들 수 있었다고. 이런 사기꾼 프로젝트 만들 수 있다고. 근데 그 전에는 이 웃기는 새끼들이 웃기는 놈들이 얘네들 홍보해주고 리트윗해주고 이런 것까지도 이제 어, 보면서 이런 거 어, 어, 이런 거좀 아니라고 이런 거 싫다고 이런 말 하지 마 그런 말씀을 안 하면서 나한테는 내가 이렇게 세게 나왔을 때까지는 이렇게 이제 사실대로 얘기하니까 우리 구독 우리 구독자들 잘 생각해요. Just think carefully about what kinds of interests these founders have in Solana. That's all you need to know. Think carefully. About the interests of these founders, what are their interests in when they act this way? 얘네들이 이런 행동할 때 얘네들 관심을 잘 생각해요. Are these kinds of behaviors are these are their interests aligned with us? 
아, the community 얘네들이 이런 행동할 때 이런 트윗 할때 우리 관심이랑 똑같아요. 물론 관심 우리 관심이랑 반대이죠. 우리 커뮤니티 같은 관심은 제 제가 하는 말 같은 말씀 하는 거예요. 커뮤니티는 the people in the community they're saying and thinking the same shit that I, that these people are thinking. New capital. No, or no job capital, no job capital 이런 말씀할 때, 뭐 물론 저도 이런 말씀할 때 우리가 이제 커뮤니티 목소리로요. 이런 놈들은 반대예요. I say this all the time and there's a very good reason why I say this. The founders are all in on the scam. 이, 구, 이 창립자들도 다 사기꾼들이에요. And Obviously, the only thing I need to show my subscribers 물론 우리 구독자들한테 이런 거 보여 이거 하나만 보여주면 이제 끝이에요. 끝이에요. The, 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 the discussion is over. Once I show this kind of stuff to my subscribers, you can't go back. You can't go back. 이제 뒤로 못 가요, 얘네들. 말, 말을 못 바꿔요, 얘네들. 이미 이런 트윗 다 나왔고 제가 공개했으니까. 그래서 제가 항상 말해요. 항상 똑같이 봐요. This is why I say to my subscribers all the time. I say this all the time to my subscribers. 우리 구독자들한테 항상 똑같이 봐요. 항상 똑같이 봐요. Solana에 믿을 수 있는 사람은 저밖에 없어. There's no one who you can trust in Solana except me. Who in Solana was telling you to get ready for this bear market? I mean, think about it, right? 진짜 나내말 믿을 수 있는지 궁금하면 솔라나 중에 솔라나 중에 누가 이때 옛날에 다들 완전 신날 때이 솔라나 가게 완전 올라갈 때 다들 신날 때 누가 이런 얘기 해줬어요 이 약세가 온다고 준비하라고 누가 이런 말씀했어요 Who in Solana if you want to trust my if you want to question my credibility Who in Solana was telling people To get ready for the bear market, you should expect the bear market and you should prepare accordingly. Who in Solana was saying this kind of shit? Solana and Duga, you don't buy some voice so. In October, when people thought I was a crazy dude, 사람들이 다 저를 미, 무시하고 다, 아, 이 소스가 소니, 그냥 뭐 아무것도 모르는 사람인데, 그냥, 무시, 그냥 무시하자. 얘네들, 얘네, 채, 얘, This guy is nobody in Solana. No one was paying attention to this. Who, 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 like who, who in Solana was paying attention to this, to this video? It has 300 views. It has 300 views. 이 Solana에 이 동영상 제가 올렸을 때 340, 사, 344명만 봤어. 344 or so, probably less people saw this. No one saw this. I was the only one saying this kind of real shit. 저희 같은 경우밖에 없었어. 이런 말 하는 사람 저밖에 없었어. 옛날에, 10월에, 작년 10월에, 작년에 10월에 이런 말씀 하는 사람 어디 있었어요, 슬라임? You just search YouTube, YouTube 보면 people are saying it's gonna 100x. We're we're gonna do some crazy shit in Solana. We're going to four hundred twenty dollars. We're going to a thousand dollars. 다들 천불, 사십이불. I was. Extremely, I was extremely wary. 저희 같은 경우, 저희 같은 경우는 진짜 조심스러웠어요 그때. When everyone else was bullish, 다들 완전 이제 이상한 소리 하면서 저 혼자서만 우리 구독자들한테 똑똑하게 진짜 전략 잘 짜라고 옛날부터 말했어. This is why my subscribers trust me, because I don't f with them. Right, I tell them how I really feel. 우리 구독자들은 저희 믿는 믿는 이유는 이거 이런 것 때문이요. I speak very honestly to my subscribers. I've made mistakes, of course. 뭐 저도 뭐 물론 실수했어. Right, I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Right, 뭐 제가 뭐 완벽한 사람에 뭐 완벽한 사람이라고 뭐 그런 말씀 아니고 그냥 솔직한 사람이니까 믿을 수 있는 사람이요. 그거 하나뿐이요. The only thing I'm saying. Is that I'm the last honest person in Solana, so my followers know, my investors know. Yes, I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect investor. They know I'm not perfect. I don't think they expect perfection from me. 우리 우리 구독자들은 뭐 소스가 소리 뭐 완벽한 사람 돼야 뭐 그런 기준은 없는 것 같고 그냥 아 얘는 그냥 이제 Solana에서 진짜 솔직한 하는 
by hundred in it. My subscribers know they just know that I'm just a very honest voice in Solana. They make their own decisions. 우리 구독자들은 다 알아서 잘 투자하고 잘 거래하고. They just want to hear my opinions on certain things in Solana. And that's it. That's what I'm here to do. 우리 저희 같은 경우는 그냥 이제 Solana 커뮤니티에서 이제 Solana에 엄청 많이 이제 공부했고 이제 잘 아니까 물론 첫 Solana 유튜버 의견 어, 궁금할 거예요. 우리 구독자들. Right? My, that, that's why my subscribers tune in. That they just want to know how I feel. That and it's valuable to them. And obviously, that's why my channel has grown. 물론 그것 때문에 어, 지금까지 열심히 채널 키웠으니까 채널이 이르, 이렇게 커졌어. Right? And, and, and that's, that's how it is. 물론 Soulfire는 어, 아쉽지만 rug였어. Right? Um, so sad to say, Soulfire obviously uh, was a rug. Soulfire was a rug. Uh, it's too bad. It's too bad. The site isn't even here. I don't even know if the site is even here. Let me see if I can go to their Twitter. Soulfire tweet. Uh, I want to see if I can even click on their tweet. All right. Let me see if I can click on their tweet or on their Twitter. Yeah, and at the Soulfire Twitter, the click has to in the All right. Let's see what happens. Mm. What happens when you click on Soulfire? Soulfire, click on me on. Let's see what happens, right? Mm. Let me go to my Soulfire tweet. Soulfire tweet. Mm. Oh, here. Let's see what happens. We'll click on here. You'll you click on here. Holy shit. They rugged. So far, it was a confirmed rug. Holy shit. I, I, Tony, you don't go for me on. I, you don't go for me on. I, well, what to get my hair deal? I mean, who in Solana was the honest voice trying to help the community here? Who in Solana was the one honest person who was genuinely trying to look out for the Solana community? Solana, eh? 누가 이렇게 커뮤니티를 지켜주는, 지켜주고 싶은 사람 어디 있었어? Nobody, nobody cares about the Solana community except for me. Solana community, 보호해, 진짜 보호해주고 싶은 사람은 저밖에 없어. I mean, Solana, you, I don't know what Solana is going to do at this point to redeem themselves. They, they are, they are in such like, like, I don't know what they're going to do. I, you know, I hope they get their shit together. Is it Solana God? I mean, you know, I just, you see the stuff. Nobody is talking about this shit except for me. I'm the only person who has built a real community and who cares about the community in Solana. I mean, Jesus Christ. I just, Solana, hey, come in to Kyun's Adamun. There's no one left. There, there's no one left in Solana who has a community except me. It's terrifying. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Solana, man. You, I don't know what Solana is going to do after this. Solana go, I mean, there's there's only so much one YouTuber can do. People are still going to, people, people are continuing to get, people are going to continue to get hurt. And Solana, and uh, it's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. Watch yourself, sorry. 저런 사이트는 진짜 찾기도 힘든데. Let's make it in Baza. So one of my subscribers is like, how do you find these scam Korean sites? 저희 같은 경우는 그냥 Naver 검색했어. I just looked on Naver, and then that shit came up. That shit came up, right? So, you know, what, what can I do? What what can I do? 뭐 제가 뭐할 수 있어, right? All right. Um, so there's no more questions. Uh, 우리 구독자들 그 보니까 뭐 다른 질문은 없으니까. Uh, I think I think that's it for today. I, I covered what I really wanted to cover. 제가 진짜 하고 싶은 말다 uh, 했으니까. 그리고 우리 구독자들 질문 다 받았으니까. So I looked at all the uh, questions that my subscribers had. 
again, I hope my subscribers, they learn from this just like I've learned from my own mistakes. 물론 저도 이제 슬라나에 투자하면서 저도 이제 어, 물론 저도 실수하고 많이 공부한 거 이제 다 이제 똑같이 이제 전달해주고 싶으니까 우리 커뮤니티한테 So I want to Uh, I want to pass on all of, this, all of this investment knowledge and advice to my community so they become better investors, right? And so I hope they do well in Solana again. And I, I want to express my appreciation and thanks to all my subscribers. I mean, the, my community is so amazing. I, I love them so much. We really community our community. We really l Uh, right? you, you guys support me a lot. You give me the energy to do this kind of stuff, right? Is it we community talk when uh, 제가 이런 기운 생기고 이렇게 방송할 수 있어, right? So, again, I love all my subscribers. Much love to all my subscribers. I love you so much. We're gonna plan some kind of souls got soul meetup this year. That's the big thing that I want to plan for this year. 올해 제가 souls got soul 이제 모임 같은 거 이제 하나. Uh, 하고 싶어요. So that that's the big thing that I'm thinking about. So hopefully I'll get some feedback from my subscribers and we'll have a Souls Got Soul meetup. Uh, Souls Got Soul community 다 같이 한잔하고 uh, 맛있는 거 먹고 제가 물론 쌀게요. <laughs> so uh, one of these days we will meet up and we will have a good time. Uh, and uh, I'll just keep on doing my thing broadcasting. Uh, 그날까지는 uh, 제가 계속 uh, 방송하고 uh, 우리 커뮤니티 잘 챙겨줄게요. Right, I promise I'll take care of you guys. I'll, I will never betray you. Turn to page and I don't care. Right, this is it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Tom and Pale, have a great evening. 좋은 밤 보내세요.